Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, videos are back in the Carpet Vanguard as in the Vanny Weekly Video. So make sure to like, subscribe, and subscribe. So last time we had the final fuel, final few cards for DZ set one. I think I said that. Uh, in reality, is I was telling a lie because apparently we have more cards from DZ set one in this video. But this video will end the DZ set one reveals along with showing us some new shop tournament promos. And as of right now, which is Monday, February twelfth, five fifty five twenty two p.m., we have the first card for DZ O two revealed. So let's go ahead and start shopping and see what we got because we have some pretty good reveals and I want to go over them. First up, we have our normal order harmonious off shot. So every deck is been getting a blitz order and a normal order both that cost two ep so a grade two normal order play by energy blasting two choose three of your rear guards with different card names and they'll get plus five thousand power for the turn all around is not bad it's not amazing but it's a good card for chris strain or chris rain because you know she energy charges three for free by just simply counter blasting one and you're typically going to have the three different card names on board so being able to get a free 5k to half your board is pretty solid if only you could give it to the vanguard too then it could add that little bit more pressure that chris rain's attack but a it's still pretty solid it's not an amazing order was not a bad one either so if you want to run as a two of tech you definitely could and of course we have vivid flush wheeze me so great three turn press 13k base or i like to call her 13k vanilla in my deck on the rear guard when she attacks a grade three or greater unit if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with chris ray and her card name karen boss one and she'll get plus 15k for the turn oh did i forget no i did put her in that chris rain deck okay so i just didn't draw her then because I know the Chris Rain deck has this, or I'm pretty sure it has the. Oh, in hindsight, I may have forgot to put in the. Uh, I know I put in the deck, but I may have forgotten to put in the tabletop video. Anyways, um, cool. Being a 15k, being a 28k swing by Count Boston 1 is pretty solid, but also in the sense of if I am right and I did put her into tabletop, which I'm 95% sure I actually did, and if I did, then she literally didn't show up at all. But, um,. Cool. Either way, though, being a 28k swing is fine, but she does eat away into the CB just a little bit. And considering you have more important priorities for that CB, such as board calling and, you know, actually using Chris Rain's skill, um, she's kind of 50 50. She's not the worst grade three in the world, but she's not the best one either. So I don't know, two or three of. And we have Scaly Smiley Albina, Grade 1 Boost, 5k Shield, AK Base. Continues to regard to Guard Circle. If you have a Vanguard that's Grade 3 or Guard of the Chris Rain's card name, she gets some 5,000 power and 5,000 Shield, acting on both players' turns. So being a 13k base and a 10k Shield is pretty solid by having the Grade 3. Um, as the other decks that have had this, she is all around pretty good. It adds that little bit of extra defensive power, adds a little bit extra boosting power. It's all around a very solid Grade 1, and it is nice to have it. So, you know, it's a good solid 3 if not a 4 of, because you don't really have to worry that much about the different names, because it's relatively easy to get the different names on board. And then of course we have four or not four copies i keep thinking i'm always in a deck profile with these uh first up we have storm brand dragoners for one of our shop promos great on boost 5k shield aka vase auto when placed on rearguard circle if you have a great three or greater vanguard with either eugene or again even its card name by rg boss name three choose one of your punch rearguards murder it. then if a card was not killed draw a card and this unit will get beside them power for that turn and then auto rearguard at the start of your battle phase if your punch rearguard was retired during this turn stand it all around pretty solid and two in two decks that don't use energy this card takes up energy which is pretty solid it can kill stuff and possibly get you draws in 5k and then you can rest it for eugene specifically because gandiva doesn't rest but then you can rest actually no it does because doesn't start no either start gonna rest something or start gonna kill something actually no start gonna kill something i remember because they're gonna led to me doing some stupid bullshit so storm brand works really well in eugene especially because again while it, it doesn't use cb or soul boss just use energy it can also be rested for eugene to give himself 10k and possibly kill something and as long as something was killed that turn storm brand will stand all around very solid grade one i do love this thing skill the only thing we're missing from the eugene deck is you know a new eugene but uh we'll take what we can get four of storm brand also just the fact that because they gave us that one really random grade one that was supposed to be an alternate ride target to nigel i am still expecting them to give us a new quote-unquote randor or an alternate randor and i am still expecting us expecting them to give us an alternate eugene that isn't the grade three that's on place counter boss two murder recall and plus 10 i refuse to believe for a second that was supposed to be the alternate grade three to eugene then we have our excellent mechanic Winston. Anyone else forget Armory Armors with a deck? I'm not even kidding you with you. When I first saw this card and saw the words mechanic, I immediately assumed it was a Blitz card. Saw his art, still thought it was a Blitz card. Then saw the word Armory Arms, and I was like, Oh, Armory Arms was a deck I completely forgot about. Anyways, grade on boost, 5k shield, AK base, continue to center back or rear guard circle. So if I remember correctly, there was another grade one that also required to be in center back or rear guard circle. If I am remembering all the different ones wrong, then so be it. But I'm pretty sure the last one required to be center back row. If you have a grade three grade of Vanguard, um, if you just have a grade three or grade of Vanguard in general, apparently, all your front row Armory Arms get plus 5,000 power. So 
active on both players' turns. I'm just going to quickly check Discord while I read the rest of this card. And then auto rear guard, I think about in this unit boosted a vanguard. If you, opponent's vanguards are going through a greater, energy blast three, choose up to one of your units attached to the vanguard, move into an open rear guard circle as stand. So it gets you multi attack and yep his ability literally just says if you are at grade three or greater so this thing immediately makes armory arm splashable in any deck because again grade three or greater of any vanguard type for some arbitrary reason all the discords agree on this i don't know why anyways um free 5k to a unit and uh, again energy blast three to get more attacks that turn winston is a very solid grade one i have so many questions but i don't care to answer any of them so Four of an armory arm deck. Then we have Himagoto Otomo Poem Lavaran. I feel like I butchered the entirety of that name. Uh, grade 1 boost 5k shield deck. It bays auto when placed on rear guard circle. If you have Vanguard with Sienna's card and Karnboss, one soul charge 2. Then if you choose a card, then choose a card from your soul and add it to your hand. And then auto rear guard when your Vanguard with Sienna's card name is attacked. So energy blast 3 to put this unit into your soul. Choose whatever Vanguard takes up the power for that battle. Oh, okay. I, when I first read her, I thought Sienna was Laver sister you know the um the ones that have like the where you actually want the ride line to be on board because it gives like all of them the same stats as the vanguard yeah i thought she was her and i thought for a second this card is trash because i don't think the deck needed soul charging and i read this as when the vanguard attacks so i just thought it was horrible and now that i'm seeing the remembering the fact that sienna was the defensive one yeah this card's actually really good um it gets you soul it can get back the triggers you possibly send to soul via sienna skill or possible pgs or just anything you sent to soul via sienna skill or just soul charged off her and also she gets herself to soul spends a resource that none of the card in the deck uses and she gives the vanguard a free 15k very solid four of in the deck there's no reason not to run this and then we have Stealth Fiend Kawahoshi Hime. So, okay, I love the moon. I don't love her. Great on boost, 5k shield, AK base. Auto when she's put on rear guard circle. Energy blast three, look at top seven. She has a two, she has, sorry, she has a one, grade two or less card with glitter from among them. Call it to rear guard and show off your deck. So it gets any of the Rarara line. Or for some reason, you're randomly playing Ranlina in your deck. It can grab Ranlina. And then add rear guard circle. If you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with grade three Vanguard, specifically with Tommy Yarn as card name, including Will O Wisp Daybreak, shove her to soul search the deck for up to one willow was daybreak tamayura ride it as stand shuffle your deck and then if your vanguard was placed during your ride phase this turn or if you persona road this turn you cannot activate persona rides until end of the turn so even if you if persona road is active even if you persona road other than um by normal ride so superior rides technically on the turn you did ride you just won't get the persona ride benefit out of it but you can basically pull a mask you, you can do what Mask does in, um, you know, other decks. So I believe Mask required your opponent to be at grade 3 for you to do the superior red. I honestly don't remember. But if it didn't, then it does the exact same thing. And if it does, this is just faster Mask because you just get access to Tama Year almost immediately. Cool, four of it's just a free superior ride that procs the second you get to grade 3. And if you didn't ride that turn, Persona Ride. Then we have Miss Deeds Drag, who does almost the exact same thing for the first skill at least. Great on boost, 5k shield, aka base, act rear guard circle. If you have a grade 3 Vanguard of Chaos in its card name, bind it, search it up to one soul on Toriel Chaos. Again, if your Vanguard is soul on Toriel, it would still count it. Write it as stand, shuffle the deck, and then standard if your Vanguard was placed during the right phase this turn or your Persona Road. Uh, can't activate Persona Rides. Again, the opponent can be at grade 2, and you could still pull this off. Act bind zone. If you have a grade 3 Vanguard of Chaos in its card name, shove it to drop zone, soul charge 1. So it can get you more different names of soul. I wish it could send itself to soul so that you could, um, you know, get more different names of soul. But to be fair, on Toro, if I remember correctly, could casually give the entire board 10 and then maybe give them a crit. I remember he gives a crit to someone. I think it might be himself. But if he gives it to everyone, like for some reason, half of my mind is thinking, yeah. Maybe that's why he doesn't send to, uh, send himself to Sol. I'm pretty sure Sol and Tar only gives it to himself, though. But if he gives it to everyone, that would logically explain why we don't give that skill. So, four misdeeds, a uh, good great one. The other reason also being, you know, Sol and Terra would be procable while the opponent is at grade two, just saying. Then we have Judgment Monster Imagara. So, great on boost, 5k short, AK base. Okay, I think Roa got one. I think that Greer got one of the superior rides in the most confusing way possible. And that's all the nations, so never mind. Actually, no, Michu. 
Michu may have gotten one, I just don't remember, because honestly, I wasn't paying much attention to Michu, because Michu was released at a different time span, but I know the other two Glitter decks definitely got one. So anyways, Grid on Boost, 5 Cashew, Ike Base, Act, Rear Guard, Circle, if you have a Great Three, Grid of Vanguard with Eva in this card name, shove it to Soul, search him to one, po Poison in Paradise, Eva, ride it as Stand, shuffle the deck, and then the Standard Persona right thing, and then Auto Drop Zone. When you're playing Research Order, Energy Blast 3, call this card to Rear Guard Circle, and it gets plus 2k for that turn. So, play a set order, 10k, and a deck that doesn't spam energy, you have discard fodder, who can then superior call itself to send itself to soul to get a superior ride. Okay, so automatically Eva has the best one, because the grade two of the Eva line searches an order that's a research. So you just have to, and by the, regardless if you go first or second, you are guaranteed to have the three energy. Literally all you have to do on your first grade three turn, if you want to superior ride Poison in Paradise, is just ditch Imagra for ride deck, ride Poison in Paradise, or not ride Poison in Paradise, ride regular Eva, use grade two Eva skill search deck for the order, play the order, energy blast, call this thing, if you want to use regular Eva skill to deck sack, you can, then use this thing skill, send it to soul, superior ride. You essentially got two Vanguard rides, for no apparent reason, you got to deck thin as well, for all for free. It doesn't make sense, but whatever, four of Imagra, it's just a good grid one, I guess. And then of course we have our first DZ set 2 card, and that is Lightning Warrior Monk Zenshin. So a great on boost 5k shield, aka base, auto rear guard, and then about this unit boosted. If you have a vanguard that's a grade 3 or grade of triumph dragon in its card name, retire of this unit, put a grade 3 or grade of triumph dragon from your soul or drops onto the bottom of the deck, and choose an opponent's rear guard murder it. If you don't, retire something, draw a card. This could have been so much better. All they had to do was say, pick a Triumph Dragon from your drop zone, or your hand, and send it to the soul. Or even just hand if they really want to make it that bad. Because here's the thing, they gave us a card, last set, Strife Command Dragon, who gets benefits from having Triumph Dragon in soul. Every deck that was a demo deck got one that benefited from having the grade 3 in soul. Even if they restricted it to being specifically put from hand into soul, it would have been good. Because not only are they searchable, and while yes, you are missing a Persona ride, it makes all of those grade 3s activate one turn faster. Which could make a huge difference. I mean, Persona ride turn consistently with that Triumph Dragon deck. I have been getting double crit on the entirety of the front row against decks that are at 4 damage meaning they have to guard every single attack that turn. Think about getting Strife Command a turn off early. Hell, think about getting two Strife Commands to turn off early if you somehow set it up right. Like, Zenshin was so close to being good, even if they hard restricted to you have to send a Triumph Dragon from hand to soul, it still would have been so good. And they had to bot deck it instead. I get why, but you don't have to search to get the 10k. It's not a bad card, it's just, it, had, it was so close to being so good for a really good support card and it would have spelled out so much good cards coming for the dz start decks and they did nothing with it three of session if you want to run them because you can kill rear guards and possibly net you draws but man so close so far and we have our last few reviews so pretty much all premium except for the two v cards which are pretty solid so we have cosmic ray eagle and vineyard health so they are new grid ones respectively for Neo Nectar and Link Joker that act as heal triggers when being used for G Guard fodder. And as testing with the other two, those are pretty useful. So I'm really hyped for these reveals. So Cosmic Ray Eat, so we're both Link Tank's hand card. You can ditch them for heal triggers when calling a G Guard. And then for Cosmic Ray Eagle, as an auto skill when placed on guard circle from hand, and by removing a heal trigger from the hand or drop zone, you have two of your rear guards, lock them. Then if you one or more was locked by the effect, it gets plus 20 shield for the battle. And if you lock two or more, you can kind of pause one until end of the turn, the Vanguard gets plus 5,000 power. So so being a 20k shield just by locking one, or being a 30k shield just by locking one is pretty solid, but the fact that it can automatically turn the vanguard into a 16 or you're playing messiahs, 18k base is pretty solid as well. And then Vineyard Elf is uh, auto when placed on guard circle from the hand. By removing a heal trigger from drop, you choose one of your units. If you have any other card on your board with the same name as that, this unit gets plus 20,000 shield until the end of the battle. And if you do not have another unit with the same card name as that unit, Karen Blossom won't choose one of your vanguards. It gets 5,000 power for the turn. So honestly, Vineyard is arguably the worst because 
Vineyard, unlike everyone else, has to go against her 20k shield skill to get the extra 5,000 power, but she's also the easiest to pull off because it's effing Neo Nectar, and Neo Nectar will almost always have a, you know, the same name, and I think it'll even count herself on Guard Circle if you have another copy of her on Rear Guard, which I don't know why you would, but there is that. So either way, they are both pretty solid. I do think I like Cosmic Ray Eagle more just because it has the potential you know pull off its 5k effect in tandem with this so vineyard elf i don't like for that much but she does get her 20k shield the easiest so there's that and then we have our neo nectar uh review for the virgil and Socilio line so the theme of the new premium deck sets is a all of them are gonna have crest and b all of them focus on limit break so the crest apparently will help with the limit breaks i have not read what the crest does yet so great to each other person right uh, 10k base i believe this is the exact same skill as og cecilia just with an updated card tech so it has like the new cb look instead of the old cb look but just in case if anything is different act vanguard circle once per turn limit break four for those of you that are new to the game and started out with d limit break activates when you are at four or more damage so it continues or not continuous cost counter boss one put five normies with nor musketeers and their card names on the bottom of your deck in any order uh, search your after two whitely the musketeer cecilia call into rearguard circle and shuffle your deck I don't know if that was the OG skill. I feel like it was, but I honestly don't remember. And then Active Vanguard Circle was Patron Retire Musketeer Rear Guard. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose to one Musketeer card from one of them called to Rear Guard and shuffle your deck. Uh, all around pretty solid, you know. It's CB1, pop deck five cards, and you can call two things. And then the other skill is you get to kill something, and then you proceed to get more Rear Guards out of it and commit more loops, which is. Very interesting and why Cecilia could kind of just solve the tear for five minutes straight. All around, um, pretty solid, you know, nothing too special about it. Again, I am pretty sure that skill is the exact same, I don't really remember. But here is our crest, White Lily Musketeer Cecilia crest. So, for the record, those of you who don't know, the other premium deck sets that are going to involve the crest are Revengers and uh, Jewel Knights, so we'll see where this goes. So, continuous if you have a White Lily Musketeer Vanguard with, or if you have a White Lily Musketeer Cecilia with Limit Break 4 ability, if your as your heart, the maid the maiden Lily Musketeer Captain Virgi Virginal Cecilia, aka the G Unit um, upgraded version on your Vanguard Circle, gets all the original abilities of your heart and auto Vanguard. When your White Lily Musketeer Cecilia is placed on your guard from the deck, draw a card, and that unit goes to ten less power for the turn. So, presumably, these crests will have a way to give the rear guard versions numbers and maybe help with the multi-attack because Revenger raising foreign dragon superior rides so we'll see what Revengers do and then continuous the original power of your grade 3 cards with limit break ability become 13,000 including the heart cards and okay that was expected and then continuous your vanguard's limit break 4 abilities are active even if you're at 3 damage or less and that's the stupid part of this ability because if you because I believe the original Limit Break supporters allowed you to proc when you are at exactly 3 damage, so you could proc all your Limit Breaks a turn early. This is saying this ability automatically procs the second you get 1 CB and you have 5 normal units of Musketeers. Man, I can't wait to see how the hell they argue this for Raging Form, because Raging Form giving superior ride when you're at 1 damage, or 0 damage, depending if it's going to cost CB or not. Oh, I cannot wait to see this chaos. Um, either way, though, that's it for this week's reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next one, I believe we are covering Salome and probably Revenge as well. So I'll see you all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, scroll Twitch, and don't forget the only way to start the next video is to say, stand up, Vanguard. I'm not